Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to a another episode. I am starting the day off at the farm. This is the farm. We used to have a house here. You guys already know the drill. Um, but I'm actually riding solo right now. Okay. Ain't got nobody with me. No pull jet, no banjo, no Rick or Dale. Nobody's out here. Not even Llama Road's out here. I'm out here by myself, and as you can see right over there, there, well, maybe, you can kind of see it a little bit. We got a little excavator action going on. It just got dropped off here, and I rushed down here. We are going to attempt to finish the duck pond today. Um, I, I believe that's Jake in there right now. He's the one who called me and told me it's coming, so I'm assuming he's in there right now. Uh, he's getting started. I'm going to go over there and check on him. Uh, I know he said he told me he wants me to run it a little bit, so I'll try to jump in there a little bit. Um, not that I'm an uh, excavator expert by any means, but the mini excavator is not that much different. Other than this guy costs like triple what my life is worth. But um, other than that, I'm going to go over there and see what he's up to, uh, kind of go check it out a little bit. Um, but basically, the dam of the pond, uh, I had to build myself with, with the skid loader um, because it was too wet. Well, we haven't had rain for three weeks, so everything's freaking dry out here. And so now uh, it's all dried up enough to where we can build the dam up all the way and then flood it and I don't know what we're gonna get done today uh, hopefully we can get the pond done and I'm not sure when I'll be able to actually flood it for duck season it's already duck season we're getting geared up for duck season here at the farm so we've got to finish this pond and we've got to flood it and what I found out is the wild grasses that are growing inside the pond is actually a form of millet which is what I wanted to plant but I didn't plant any of it but it just happened to naturally grow there because it's moist soil plant essentially so with that being said um, I don't really know what else we're gonna do in today's video um, other than we got to finish this pond we're gonna try to flood it at some point hopefully Hopefully that works and then we might do some other stuff you guys stay tuned climbed into the excavator. Jake got a good start for me. He's got it, uh, he's got a nice big hole right here. He kind of got me a nice platform to kind of start with. As you can see, he built, it's honestly the exact same setup I did with the uh, skid loader, except it took me like six hours and he got it done in about six minutes uh, here. But I'm in it now, he ran home. Uh, not sure why he trusts me with uh, items like this that are worth Several hundred thousand dollars. I mean, that, that bucket, I don't know if you guys can tell a bucket a bit, like I can stand in that bucket. That bit, that bucket is bigger than me. I'll try to get a comparison here uh, if he comes back or if I jump out or something like that. Basically, the idea is I've got to build a dam from here all the way to right where those sunflowers are, right on that side. I did the exact same thing in the skid loader, um, but we got to build it higher, and now we've got the right equipment. So what Jake's been doing is he started right here, and so he dug down and hit water, so we're gonna stop there. I've got to keep going along there. So I basically have to stay here, rake here, and place it in front of me. And I have to build my own road. And I have to hope that I build it big enough, strong enough, and dry enough to where I don't sink this giant piece of equipment in that water. You see that water right down there? Yep, that's a lake, um, which the water table is right here. So again, not sure why he trusted me uh, with this, but this is the duck pond here for those guys that are new. Uh, we're gonna flood this. It's all really overgrown right now. We're gonna do some trimming and stuff like that, but that's gonna be filled with water. So this is the dam. That's gonna be filled with water. We're gonna be hunting ducks out of here soon, but I've gotta to get to work. We've got, well, I mean, we've got like three hours before the sun sets. If I can't figure, if I can't get this done in three hours, I suck, because Jake literally got, he probably got a third of it done in less than 10 or 15 minutes. Granted, he does this for a living, a little bit better than me, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's basically just a big grown up version. It's like the big brother to the mini excavator. Same controls just weighs significantly more and costs significantly more. So with that being said, you guys enjoy the time-lapse. Shoo! Oh my gosh. I don't know how you people do it for a living. This, I suck at this game. This is not, this ain't it. I just, we're just not, I don't know how to, how to speak English here. Uh, I mean, we're about halfway there. It's been at least an hour and a half. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys some progress. So, so far, I've made it to about, honestly, I'm a little more than halfway, which ain't too bad. But if you guys have noticed on the time lapse, I keep falling that away. I keep, because what's happening is I'm, I'm digging. And when you dig it, it makes all the weight go to that side. And so then it keeps shoving to where this thing's wide. 
And this thing's like 25 feet wide now. Cause I have to keep building this side up and then it smushes that side out and it just, it's like this never ending cycle, okay? Oh, I can't do it. I don't understand. Oh man, I just got all muddy. But the other problem is we're dealing with a lot of wet, wetness, this is all muddy. And so the tracks are slipping. The whole machine keeps pushing over. I mean, I haven't broken anything so far, knock on wood. We gotta make it to them tall sunflowers right there. So we're we're about halfway, um, except the problem is Jake probably did half of this, so I've probably done, I probably did as much as, about as much as Jake did in 15 minutes, it probably took me about two hours, hour and a half, two hours. Um, this is a tough one, folks. It is, it's not easy. On a good note though, if I can go another 15, 20 feet, all I gotta do is throw dirt at the other side and build it up. I don't have to like get the actual excavator itself up where, like, like right now the excavator's here throwing dirt there. All I gotta do is get the excavator about where these close little sunflowers are and then I can throw dirt on the other side and then I'm good. I don't have to walk this thing all the way across. I don't know why. I know it's all the sun's on. I don't know why he lets me run this thing though. This is, whew, I'm getting all muddy and gross and dirty and man, if it wasn't for, like if this was perfectly dry ground and I just had to build a dam, your boys got this, okay? But when you're like on the edge of death, on both sides and you have to build your own levee and then your levee decides to collapse on this side about every four seconds. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Anyways, that's an update. This is, I don't know, what, what do people call this? Sweat equity? I don't know what they call it. Either way, these, they're, they're but the duck, English and stuff, the ducks better fly, okay, this year. Cause we put in a lot of work. Jake's putting a lot of work too. I mean, he's the one who built this whole thing, except the difference is he's really good at his job and so he goes fast. For me, I've been here for an hour and a half and I've got pretty much nothing done at this point. I mean, I've gotten some. I just, anyway, so that's my update. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep digging. Hopefully, if I can get this done before sundown, I'll call it a success. This ain't it, this ain't it. I thought I was so close. Okay, folks, I was so close to get her done. Oh my God. I was so close. And uh, well, that's what it looks like right now. Literally all the work I did, I just, I, I just ruined, I just destroyed it. It just, it's gone, it's destroyed. I, I don't, I think I got this thing stuck. I gotta call Jake, see if he can come save the day. I mean, look how close we are to catastrophe. It's, oh, we were so close. I was literally probably one more pass worth uh, before I could get the dirt up on the other side and she's buried. I, I'm not gonna, I tried getting her out and I'm sorry, Jake. If you're watching this, uh, I'm gonna have to call him, see if he can come. I'm sure he can get it out. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I was doing so great, doing so good, so good. I had it perfectly built, hadn't gotten stuck yet. And for some reason on that last pass, it really bogged down and it really started biting on one side and it basically tore its way through to where like pretty much my entire dam is now. I mean, Jake could probably fix it in about four seconds. So I'm gonna call him and see. Hopefully he's home and he can come either. He, I'm hoping he can get it out and then just finish it. Cause it's so close, it's so close. And I'm just, I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry, I just, I'm trying so hard. Right now we've got this nice looking ditch thing, I guess. But oh yeah, she's, um, she ain't, she ain't it. But uh, I just, I don't want to get her stuck. She's, she's kind of bottomed out right now and it just, it just ain't a good deal. So anyways, I'm gonna call Jake and see if he can come rescue me. And maybe he'll be able to finish the dam or get it at least close before dark. Cause Right now, sun's going down, so we'll see if, see, hopefully he's around. He can come get me out. folks everybody just needs somebody like jake in their life to get them out of well when you just get stuck with equipment that isn't yours because you don't want to ruin it so uh i think he's just gonna go ahead and uh fix, fix my problem because like i said he could have this whole thing built in like an hour i wanted to build it myself which was a terrible idea and uh he's gonna go ahead and try to fix it up just a little bit i don't know how long he wants to stay out here and stuff i think he was in the middle of dinner with his family so i feel terrible but he rescued me and you guys will see how an actual excavator operator does it not like me i i don't know what i'm doing 
Shoo! Shoo! Banjo's back. Hey, how's it going, folks? It's the next day. Look at this dam. It's a damn dam. Look at this thing. Uh, anyways, Jake this morning, look at he's already getting after it today. Jake this morning came out and finished it. Uh, we let it dry overnight and he just threw, you know, the last 20 yards or so. I got, I got to about where that, a little bit past where the, it goes up right there. But it's still, I mean, it's still a little bit soft. But Banjo's here for moral support. He's checking it out, make sure that it's ocean approved. Um, and then Jake, he's already working on our next kind of project within this project. And that is basically, I'll, and I'll throw the drone up here in a little bit for you guys so you guys get perspective because I, it's kind of hard for you guys to understand. But basically he's digging a canal easiest way to put it not very deep maybe a foot over here is lower than it is over here so when we flood it that's for sure gonna have water we're gonna have a little pond but this might stay high and dry like when we were out here even when the rain came this was pretty dry so he's digging a canal to make sure that this holds water so we don't have to have that be five feet of water in order to get that to be one foot we're trying to equalize it make that the same depth as that side the middle will stay high and dry which is fine because that's probably where we're going to be hunting the cover and stuff like that i mean there'll still be some water on it but i didn't want to have three inches of water here and three feet over there so we're trying to equalize it so he's taking the excavator right now and kind of dragging it and so the kind of the plan is again i'll throw the drone up to explain it in a bit but the plan is we're gonna have water along there We've got our corn, it's gonna connect, and it's gonna go here, it's gonna be like a U shape. So all the way here, and then in the middle of the U is gonna be cattail. So there's a video that we took Lucy out here and Millie and stuff like that, and that was actually millet, is what we kind of found out. So um, with it being millet, that's a good thing, because that's what ducks like, or it's a form of millet, I guess you should say. So we're gonna have water here, there's millet mixed in, some of this fluffy stuff is millet. Lots of cattails, we're gonna leave most of that. And then we're gonna have water over there. And I've got the skid loader down here, we've got a brush cutter down here. And today's objective is to complete the pond build. Complete the dam, complete the construction of where we want the water, how deep we want the water and stuff like that. And then phase three is gonna be flooding. And that is an entire job in and of itself because the water that we want is over there. And that's not a short distance. And I don't have a big hose. And the only pump we have is for the back of a tractor. And that, well, you can't really just throw a tractor right here, obviously, we got a lot of water issue going on. So um, we're not really sure what the plan is. We just, we figured we would get as much of this done as we possibly could first and worry about flooding it later. So there's your update for you. Dam is done. He's working on the canal. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the skid loader and the brush hog and get to kind of cut and mowing, getting the grass the right length and get this thing ready to flood and hopefully kill some birds. So you guys stay tuned. We got the skid loader and we got a bush hog and banjo and the uh, the old tank we're giving that thing away by the way if you guys want to win it i'll leave a link down below you got to sign up for the duck show of the month club that's all you got to do sign up every month you're signed up you get a chance to win this every month that you're signed up is one entry to win that so it'll be linked down below duck shirt of the month you get a fresh shirt every single month at a discounted rate and you get a chance to win the tank so jake left he'll be back in a bit like i said he finished all that i'll pop up a drone picture here so this is kind of what we're looking at as you can see there's corn right here there's the cattails which is the dark green stuff the light green stuff is actually millet and then the stuff that isn't green is well dirt or water so as it sits right now we've got the right side which is the new trench jake dug and then on the left side is pretty much all the low stuff uh that will be filled with water so in the middle is a lot of grass as you guys can see well you don't need that much grass when you're duck hunting you need more water than you do grass so we're gonna jump in there banjo's gonna try to guide me and we're gonna try to cut some paths and some strips and stuff the idea is we're gonna run north and south which that's north that's south so we're gonna try to run a couple strips this way and then cut around that corn because i think the corn's gonna be key especially late season and then maybe make a couple pockets um for the birds to land Anyways, for those of you guys that don't duck hunt, this is I've duck hunted my entire life and I've never tried to do anything like this. It's it's actually to me it's interesting and it's a heck of a challenge trying to build yourself your own duck pond. I will tell you, every bird that I kill here will mean so much more that we put in all this work. So hopefully it's worth it. But that being said, enjoy me mowing some grass. I literally got stuck just trying to get in here. How am I stuck? Is this side wet? Oh god, that's wet. I didn't even get out in time. I should have just pulled this thing forward because this is dry. I'm literally stuck right here. This is the dumbest thing ever. I mean, luckily we got an excavator to get me out, but what the heck? I should have just moved it. If I would have moved the excavator, I could have gone on dry ground. That would have been fine. Soaking wet right there. I didn't know that. I literally just sent that off in the... I'm an idiot. Alright, so the problem is I don't have a bucket. Last time I got stuck, we grabbed the bucket with the, the claw. I don't have that this time, so I have nothing to grab onto other than this. Why do these things happen? This is the second time I've gotten stuck. Usually Banjo's excited about getting stuck, but 
This ain't a good time. I don't like this. Uh, if I had the bucket, I think I could I could curl my way out. That side's buried, dude. It's like here, show them it. It is muddy. I don't know if you guys can see. It's it's straight. It's 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 water. Literally water. I didn't. I was stupid. So Jake left the excavator here, and I had to move it a little bit. I should have pulled it all the way forward, so I could have went up this ramp. And I was like, oh, I'll just go over this ditch. Now I realizing the ditch is soaked. Oh God. Oh rip. Oh rip. What what in heaven? No wonder I'm stuck. Jake's gonna do. Jake. Jake's gonna stop hanging out with us. Oh my, that's why I can't back up. I'm like, why can't I back up? It's that. So how do you get yourself out of this predicament? Literally, if you put a chain around that back, you could just lift this whole thing up with the excavator. I don't know if you can do that, but. Oh no, <sighs> son of a, we were just about to get started too. That's why I'm stuck, it's this. Yeah. It's not that I don't have traction, it's I'm digging myself in a hole. So how do you, I gotta go forward. That's, I, that's, that's the only way to do it, I have to go forward. But I don't know if you can pull on that the bush hog. It's not like a bucket. No. You can't just like grab it. Oh, why? That's what? Construction. Fun. Beefcake Construction LLC. All right. That's that's what you got going on We're here. We're struggling today. This is not good. This is two days in a row. Two different machines. Yeah. At least this is mine, so I don't feel as bad. But I mean, I've never gotten a skiller. Well, I, I, I actually got a skiller stuck right there like yeah. two months ago. But this was a dumb one. I mean, that's dumb. I could have just went up on the road. I just had to scoot this forward just a little bit. I was bit. waiting for you to come by. I know. What's I was like, I fall? sunk and I was like, no, I didn't get stuck. It'll be fine. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm in there, boys. You're real stuck. This ain't it. Send this to Jake. Jake's gonna quit. I think he's, he's gonna quit after this. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I can try to jump in that thing and grab onto that. I just don't want to like rip it off. You know, like one, that's not my attachment. So that's probably not good. And two, I just, I, I don't know. That's a lot of weight to put on that attachment to like lift yeah. this thing up. Why? Why, Dad? Why does this happen? I don't understand it. I'm just trying to kill some ducks. I'm telling you, what did I just? I literally two seconds ago was like, every duck I kill out here is gonna mean so much more because of all the work we've put in. Exhibit A. My fan is chopping grass right now. Gosh, dang it! All right, well, I'll give you guys an update when I figure out how to get myself unstuck here. Good work. See, Jake, the funny thing is, Jake didn't realize he had three kids. He thought he only had two. Uh, but he uh, involuntarily adopted me over the last two days because he's had to bail me out. I'm like that teenager that always gets in trouble and has to get bailed out of jail. Except I just get equipment that's worth more than my life stuck every day. Anyways, well, Vane's just gonna lead the way with the old tank. He's gonna show me, uh, since he's got a better view, I'm kind of stuck in this cab. He's got a better view as to where, where to cut, what to cut, and how to cut it. So he's gonna kind of guide me through the trenches here, and we're gonna try to manage some of this grass, get to cut. And after this is cut, we're pretty much good. He's gonna fix the rest of the dam. It's just about complete. He just needs to get a little bit higher on one side. And then we gotta figure out how to flood this thing. That's the, gonna be the hardest part, figuring out how to flood it. So you guys stay tuned. Well, folks, look at it. That did not take very long. That was like 10 minutes. Mo. So this is our major, one of the major uh, kill zones. Um, this would be for, I mean, you could do a north wind or really a cross shot of any kind with this corn, but then I do need to go mow a bunch over there. But on this side, I still need to shave a little bit on this corner, but then here is where a lot of people do, they do patches or strips. So like there is some tall stuff. I mean, I assume this is going to be about max knee deep, honestly, probably more shin deep. Um, so you're still going to see a lot of this grass. It's, I didn't cut it too short, um, but 
but here I'm just gonna kind of make make some pockets, um, make some strips, just to kind of give the, the, I almost said fish, the duck some cover. This is where you're gonna put your decoys. This is what the birds are gonna see from the sky from afar. They're gonna see, ooh, water. Then they're gonna get close and go, ooh, corn. And then they're gonna land and they go, ooh, millet. And then they stay while you're not hunting. And then if you're hunting, you shoot them. That's pretty much the goal. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop some more of this down here. And then I gotta run over there and make a nice big hole there. And then I'm gonna connect, but the canal is over there. I'm gonna connect to the canal. Um, so that way there's just kind of water flowing through this whole thing. Just giving the ducks multiple opportunities. Um, I'm not, the nice thing about, especially for teal hunting, which is what we're about to do, I usually don't even hunt in a blind. I don't like hunting in a blind. I think they're kind of stupid. It's early season. Um, so the idea is we're kind of giving the birds a lot of opportunity to see where they land. And then wherever they land might give us a better idea for like big ducks and mallards. Now I do, I don't think teal and mallards are really that similar, but you'll get the idea where the birds, for the most part, do they want to land on that side of the corner? Do they want to land in front or over here? We might get a better idea. So we're going to give them a lot of options to see what the birds tell us to do. Anyways, enjoy. duck hunting this is stupid i already already went through here like i already went a path and all of a sudden that's just sloppy what i'm not buried it's just it's slippery i just don't know what to do i don't want to get the excavator or something in here though like that's it's, i already made one path i couldn't believe i got stuck like i already went down once it just turned into mud i did I'm trying to think i don't want to keep going because i'll just bury it but it's so close like it's not, it's not buried like earlier. If I had the bucket, I'd be fine because I could curl the bucket. It's this thing. I can't, thing ain't made for mud. I mean, luckily I didn't get stuck anywhere else. I mean, this isn't a bad spot because it's perfectly dry until right here. If we have to get something out here to get it, I don't know what. Unreal. I quit. This duck pond sucks. I mean, I got some really good strips oh, though. Yeah, I like, like it. Like, there's really, really this good strips. Cool like this because they'll see this coming over the top. Yeah. They'll see the water. I was so close to being done with this area and I was just going to finish that and I was going to be done. Yeah. I was making like, I was going to try to make like a three wide right here. Just a nice shot down the middle so they could come fly in. I mean, I can give her, give her a go. I just don't want to bury. Like, literally, I think a pickup could get it out. Like it's not, I just need a little momentum. It's just too, it's slimy. It's not that I'm stuck. I just don't have traction. I don't know what to do. And I would say you could, I could take that off, but the weight in the front honestly probably helps. Like it doesn't probably hurt. Unreal. How did I, I made so many passes already and I didn't feel anything. All of a sudden it just like, I must've just hit. This must be like the dead center saw. All right. Um, I'm not sure what to do right now, Rick. Jake, come get me out for the third time. I don't know what to get out with though. I don't, dragging an excavator in here seems stupid. Like that seems like exciting. I know, but that just seems like, like it, I'm really not that stuck. I know I'm not. I just don't really want to keep going and bury it because all I need is a little bit of something to get me out of here. Unbelievable. This is why you don't build a duck pond down in a pre-existing marsh that happens to be dry because we haven't had any rain, but it's still moist, essentially. You're so close. Literally, I was gonna carve out one little pond here and right over by the corner and I was done. I was like, oh, this is good. We got plenty of good landing strips and all sorts of good. I quit. Well, I'll let you guys know if I get out. Hey guys, my second dad named Jake's here for the third time in the last two days. He's pretty happy about it, I can tell. Watch this, this is how you know you're pro. Look at that, look at that. See that banjo, that's some pro That's some pro stuff right there. See, I can't do that, nope. I can't, I can't even drive a skid loader right. Well, I think he's just gonna push me. We'll see how that goes. So I'm, I'm retiring from the Duck Pond Construction Company. This ain't, it ain't for me. I retire, I quit.
confident about this one, Kyle? Uh, <laughs> that did not sound confident at all. Uh, it'll, it'll, <laughs> that was a long, yeah. It's got a lot of bits. Not very deep, but. I'll jump in there and start grabbing. Yeah, I was going to say, we have waders. We, we Actually, we do have waders. Hey, you don't want to swim? Yeah. I can swim. There's no weeds on here. You're good. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> have Banjo slide down that like a stripper pole and rip them sticks out. <laughs> What's worse going to happen? You fall in the water, you swim out. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to make it. That's almost perfect. All right, so we got a piece of tin down there. That's to help make sure there's not a giant hole for Banjo to drown in. We got the hose out here hooked up. Oh God, yeah, we got to back up. I'm getting, I'm getting out of here. This, yeah, oh yeah, I, I ain't stand. What happens if that thing comes flying up and just drip? You know what, 16 inches of water? When it, oh God, oh God, she's pumping. Oh, she's getting. Oh God. Flowing like. Oh my God. That's a, <laughs> look at that. That's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Wow. Dude, it look at that. This is gonna take no time, boys. Look at this. Shoo. We'll end up a little bit of a hole, but I don't think it'll be too bad. How's it look back there? Good? Really? How did this happen? I don't know how we pulled this off. I don't know how Jake pulled this off. Let's be honest. This is wild. Banjo. Yeah. How's that Instagram guy, guy going? Yeah. For Instagram. Oh, what was that for? Personal collection. Your what? My reference. No, I was just what does that mean? You're actually you're a biologist taking a study he, on he, this. He, it looks. It sounded like he was getting a new job. Really? Yeah. How'd that go? I'm leaving. That's fine. See you Where are you going? I don't know. Oh, look at this. We got we got hella water. I want to go see what it looks like back down yonder here. Oh god, it's pumping. <laughs> it's giving it hell back here. Oh yeah, that's working. Yeah. You surprised? We expected this. You knew it'd work. Yeah, uh, plan all along. That's right. This is the plan all along, huh? Look at that. I'm impressed. How, how many days until the teal are here, Banjo? They'll be here tomorrow. You think so? Yeah. Tomorrow morning, really? Tomorrow morning. Are you gonna get up at sunrise to check, or how's that work? I'm sleeping in. Really? How, Jake uh, can let us know. He oh, lives. Oh, here. oh yeah, true. Jake lives here. He can scout for us. Yeah. Oh, Cash, you wanna be our designated scouter? All right, good. We got. I mean, she's leaking a, a, a tad, but put two. So just to show you guys, two hose clamps, 16 inch pipe. That's a big pipe, man. Big, biggest pipe you've ever handled, huh? I've never seen a 16 inch pipe. That's new to me. Me neither. Me neither. This is this is wild. This is I can't. This, we've been waiting. You guys have seen the videos. We did an entire video building the dam, an entire video literally fixing the dam and then flooding it. This has been several months in the making. All the only thing that's gonna make this better is clapping them duck cheeks I'll on the opener. This. All right, well, I'll give you guys an update when I guess this thing's full or something. folks this ain't this ain't good i mean we got a pond i mean that's that right there's got to be worth something uh there's only one problem you walk on the south side of this dam here son and uh when you start seeing this yeah that ain't it well we got a we sprung a leak banjo you think it's yeah. here huh i mean this is a lot look at this that's why this is the most water and it's kind of like this so i mean that's all the way up to here it's seeping we got some we got some seepage issues here I should have came here with a brush cutter and cut all this stuff out. But this is where the dam met the original levee. Is it seeping right there? Yeah, I think so. I bet that's where you it can is. See, like, you can see the whatever, like a little grass. Yeah. Like that. Really? So we got a we got leaks. Yeah, you can see it. You can throw chemical or something in whatever there. It is. And it'll find it. The problem is, is um. Yeah, most of the water's right here. Yeah. It's right there. Rip. Well, that ain't good. We uh we don't this thing ain't even close to being full and we got leakage. That ain't gonna help us fill it. It's gonna slow us down. Maybe some duct tape? You think so? Duct tape fixes everything. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Uh shoot. 
like this that ain't i mean that's a lot of water right there i was wondering why it wasn't filling that up anymore it's because it's backing out now there's going to be seepage naturally and you would just hope over time you know give it a day it figure itself out but worst case it doesn't you're screwed so i don't really know what to do at this point uh we might grab the excavator and drag it up here and try to throw some more dirt on this but throwing dirt on it and then expecting it to hold water 10 minutes later is not really very realistic uh so kind of a doozy i don't know how you fix how you fix a leaky leaky dam i mean that's a good amount of water right there i think this is part of your pond now i say maybe the teal will land here call it a day I mean, we got a decent sized pond there just you know not quite what we expected it's about a tenth of what we were we were wanting but i don't know maybe jake's got an idea or we just suck at building ponds i guess well we're gonna try i mean we can't really fix the the leakiness i mean it's it's leaking all in that corner. All we're gonna do is try to relieve the pressure. There's a lot of water built up there and not a lot over here. So Jake, has, he's in the excavator again. He, I think he's gonna try to uh, dig a little trench for us. Basically connecting this pool here to that pool right over there. So you can see where it's built up right here. He's gonna connect it so that way it'll fill that channel that he dug. It'll relieve the pressure over there and hopefully spread out the water. Uh, the idea is basically fill this whole thing up and whatever stays, stays. It's completely bone dry by the time we start trying to shoot birds. It is what it is. We gave it a heck of a try. Only so much you can do when you're in this moist soil. Ideally, if you wanted to build a real dam, you would dig out a footing, come in with a cold packer and pack it. But this, as you've seen how many times I've gotten stuck and stuff, it's too, it's too moist. You just, you can't get the equipment needed. I mean, that's, that's about as good as it gets, but we couldn't get anything in it to pack it. And it's pretty much showing, showing now that yeah, we got. We got some problems, but again, we're going to try to make the most of it, so hope for the best. Well, folks, moment of truth. We're in the old tank. By the way, we're giving this thing away. I probably already mentioned that in this video. If not, link down below. We're gonna go scout this place and see how much water we got. So far, it looks like we got a good amount in this canal. I'm really curious what we have in the middle on the high ground, so we'll see what we find. That's deeper than I thought. Knee? Yeah. That's probably almost knee deep. Boys, we might, I mean, we gotta get rid of some of this yeah. brought up hole. Yeah, we gotta get rid of all this cut stuff. I mean, we can, we could probably put together a little drag rig with like a T post or something chain and use this and we could probably get some of this out of here. I don't know, unless the water, it'll be fine. I guess I could drive over it, but yeah. This is good. I mean, this is like part, not the highest ground, but it's up there. So. I'm gonna go this way and go ahead to that corner and see if there's any water on the corner yet. Well, we got water. Yeah. It's not much. You got tall boots on? Jump out and give perspective to everybody here. What do we got? Oh wow, that's deep. I mean, over there. Yo, chill. A lot of, lot of ducks. A lot of ducks. But we got water over there. It's not as bad as I thought, I'll be honest. It, it, it's better than I expected I mean, it so far. This has been like, what, an hour? Oh, we've been pumping it for like an hour. Yeah. I just, I thought we had the leak, it was deep, and this had nothing. It means the water tables aren't, I mean, I wouldn't say they're off by more than a foot and a half. Yeah. Like, it's probably not much more than a foot and a half, maybe two feet over there, and then here. So that's the difference in the, in the basically, the topography. That's a big word for me. Is that a, you know what that word means? Yeah. yeah, topography. It's the contours and stuff. Anyways, well, I'm gonna go this way and see what it looks like. See where it's? We didn't dig the the trench. If only we dug an entire. It was just it got a little wet for the excavator, but see, because now it's gonna have to get up over this. Yeah. That's that's the only downside here. It's gonna this is gonna have to be really deep in order to flood that, but let's see how deep it is. Oh God, this, floating. this, it is. we are, we're floating. Three feet? Bar we're barely floating. What, do you think this is like almost waist deep? No, I mean, it's right at the tires. I mean, you're, you're probably only, your tires are probably two, maybe two feet. Yeah, okay, a little over two feet. It's probably knee, knee deep. It's about the deepest you would really want it. But it, see, it's almost ready to come over. Yeah, I mean, it's 
got on, on six that more side. inches. It's only got, yeah, maybe six inches, and it'll start spilling over there, which is good. I'm confident. Jake's confident. Thing is, Jake, he, he does big things. He builds levees and stuff for a living. Like, he works in excavators, bulldozers. He builds essentially what we built in order to keep water out. Uh, we're trying to keep water in kind of the same idea he says he's confident he says that the seepage is pretty normal all it's got to do is it has to saturate that layer of dirt between like normal the ground level and then the added dirt and once it gets completely full and saturated with water it basically turns into kind of like a muck or a clay and it should hold water better you know this is probably the most water you're going to lose is that it is the initial pump and so what we're going to do is we're going to let this run until dark jake's going to come out and shut it off just so it doesn't run overnight just so we don't have any issues he's going to come back out in the morning check it uh hope we don't lose a ton of water and then and fire it back up and hopefully top it off tomorrow and i'll come out tomorrow and show you guys the final final result so with all luck we we need a lot of luck i guess fingers crossed we'll see you guys tomorrow with a full duck pond Shoo! look at that banjo what do you think about that looks like a pond look at that how deep do you think that is it's, right it's gonna be pretty deep hey guys it's the next day we're gonna come check out how deep it is but look we filled that up too so that's not actually that's not a good thing to have the water on the other side of the dam but it's, this is gonna be deep. Yesterday, uh, the, the, the old tank barely floated. I'm gonna give it the old test here. Oh God, I'm about to just, I think I'm about to die here. Let's see, okay. So far, so good. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. All right, we're, we're, we're rocking knee, knee deep. Oh, we're good, Banjo. Hey, we're, we're only knee deep, guy. Good. This ain't that bad. It's it's pretty much knee. That's not that bad. No, it's ha it's hard. It's super. The, the, yeah, it's really hard. But this canal is knee, which is perfect. And then this should be water. It doesn't really look like it because it's grass. But we're gonna take the old tank and go run it around and show you guys the depths of everything. And that's pretty much it. And then we're gonna fly the drone. So stay tuned to the end because the drone is gonna show you guys um, kind of what it all looks like. It's not ideal. We've got a lot of seepage. Jake woke up, started at seven this morning and ran it till about 1.30 and he shut it off. So it's done pumping. So we're just hoping it can hold water till we start, start shooting some ducks. So, well, let's go explore a little bit. Oh, we were touching. About what it was yesterday, not too much different. We're floating a little bit more. See, we're floating now, yep. Yep, just, just relax, just relax. Everybody relax, just relax. Oh, holy holy damn, your dumper looks thick right now. <laughs> holy snap. This thing's thick. You talking about you or? <laughs> She's deep, boys. He can't swim, but we eat. Dude, that's deep. Yeah, that's so good. how is it knee there? And it must be more than knee out here. Yeah. Let, me, let me give her the old That's chip. a little less than knee. Yeah, right? That's, it's right to my knee here, so let's... Because there's a cliff, right? A little drop off that. Where's this guy at? Did it wash away? What happened there? Uh, it, might, there. it might have. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> See? You don't know that's there. It's, it's about, it's about like, mid-gooch. It's not bad. Like, like the tip, the tip's hitting the water, but that's about it right well, now. Well, no, as hung as you. That if you were in here, you would have had tip water way back there, huh? Hitting your kneecap. <laughs> well, we've got a little less than knee and a little bit more than knee. I want to go see what the corn's got going on. Bro, this is more than sick. Jake said he thought six inches out by the corn. It's a good foot. This is perfect. That's a, it's a foot in the corn. That's yeah. what we wanted. Yeah. This is money. Oh, heck yeah. This is what we came here for, boys. Oh, this is gonna do it. I think this is the hole. This, this is the best. This hole. is it. We need it. We need to take this thing around some more at some point. I think to thin out. Not this. This looks all right, but like a little bit more over there. It's a little bit on that that thick side. Uh, the same thing up there. Yeah. That seems a little dry. It isn't dry, but you know, it looks yeah, dry. Just grass on. We just top need of to water. take this thing and smash it down a little bit. But it looks really good. So there's your pond, folks. Uh, we're gonna launch the drone here for the little finale. You guys can see the before and after. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the series. It took us like six weeks. Big shout out to Jake and Kyle and Andy and everybody who kind of pitched in for this using pumps and equipment that isn't mine. Uh, big shout out to Jake though. He got me unstuck many times without him. Not a big so I want to say huge thanks to him. But with that being said, you guys enjoy the drone footage.